Hello everybody. So today I would like to talk uh, about compatibility. I had a few questions on Guys Cry 2 and on YouTube and I came up with this idea. Um, so compatibility is such a big, big thing for relationship and for a couple. And I do not mean chemistry. I do not mean right now the passion and the chemistry, the sexual compatibility, that's not what I'm talking. Let's say that part is going great. But what about the others? So often we think that um, we're taking responsibilities and we think, oh my gosh, I am something wrong with me, you know. Um, men are afraid of me. <laughs> or they don't understand me when I show who I really am, when I show that I have ambitions, I have goals. I'm not just a girl to, uh, you know, not just a girl that uh, wants to be average. I'm a girl that wants to be successful, wants to be recognized. And when she is in relationship, she doesn't want to be suppressed. It's not, uh, she wants to be able to be herself even though she's still, uh, even if she's in a relationship. And of course that applies for guys too, that uh, relationship should not be that box where when you are with your man or with your woman, you need to jump into this little box and be real quiet so you don't, um, you know, you match the environment or you match their vision of you. That is such a sad thing and that's why uh, I think so many people who are very bright and talented, sometimes they end up being single because um, they don't want to be in a box. And sometimes when, you know, we are home with somebody, uh, you know, we are too casual and when we go places and that person shows their other talents, maybe we get jealous. I don't know exactly what it is, but maybe we just used to see that person being quiet and when that person comes alive, we are like, what's going on? So that person doesn't want to disappoint us or we do not want to disappoint that person, so we go into that box. And that's a scary thing and therefore some people kind of you know, getting frustrated and they don't want to have any relationships. But here is what I want to say today. So often we think, I have a problem. Like, I know one woman that her ex-man, uh, you know, her ex-husband told her that she was pushy, that she was bossy, um, and s things of that nature. And then, uh, some hard situations had happened and she actually survived them and she was persistent and she figured things out for herself and people told her you know you really have great leading qualities you are a leader and she was so surprised because she kept beating herself up with um, that maybe she was pushy maybe she was bossy maybe she was not this um, Mm, she thought it was a negative thing and maybe for that man it was a negative thing and when she would say openly how she feels or how things are that would be also a problem in her relationship so for, the, for that particular man maybe it was a negative thing but it doesn't mean that that is a negative thing for everybody it means that they had a serious mismatch in their couple um, in their relationship, I mean, they had a mismatch, um, like, in their personal, uh, in their personalities. So, don't take immediately what the other person, the other partner does not appreciate about you. It's not always means you need to change. If that's authentic part of you, if that's who you really are, you should stick with that and maybe move on maybe stay some time by yourself and eventually you would attract the person who would appreciate that in fact maybe the person who was always looking for somebody like you 
because actually you know our partner is a reflection of who we are therefore sometimes in life you know we change partners you know couple times or maybe more maybe less it's not always a bad thing um, so very often they reflect who we are so if we were one person and we worked on ourselves we became another person it's possible that uh, we might need another partner to um, if if that person did not grow but we did it might be in a mismatch and it might be that we should uh, set each other free and go for someone for, for somebody else it might need that we need another partner to be able to communicate I mean you can stay with somebody forever but if it doesn't work it doesn't work but coming back to the point I would like to make in this video is that um, it's very important to ask yourself whether that's a really thing you need to work on, you know, we all have things we need to work on. But very often we are hard on ourselves and when our person, our spouse or husband or wife does not accept us for who we are, we just have this a narrow vision and we think yeah you know we really um, there is something wrong with us it's not always true you are if you are, have a leading qualities if you are strong if you're persistent if you go in for what you said you're gonna go um, and somebody think you're bossy and pushy let them think that but don't change if you are a person that is authentic and tells the truth how things really are, someone does not appreciate it, let them go. But you need to stick with yourself. You make in favor for yourself and eventually you will be with a person that is actually looking for you everywhere because they have the same values do not change for somebody unless you think you need to change stick with who you really are always don't ever lose yourself don't ever lose yourself thank you